actually gonna be like a DIY kind of video um, not that I'm good at DIYs in any way whatever um yeah so I went on to Pinterest to look up Easter themed DIYs and the first one I found I thought was really cool it was origami bunny and then I tried it and like I, I, I didn't know how to get past this part so this is how my bunny turned out. It's like, nope, scratch that idea. And then I came across one where it's, um, you take a potato and you cut shapes into it and then you can use it as like a stamper and it looks like an egg kind of thing. And I was like, sure, whatever, I'll try that. So today what I'm doing for you is I have a potato, a cutting board, ow, and a knife. And I don't have paint. So um, I have a giant bucket of nail polish, um, that's not even half of it. <laughs> I have a lot of nail polish, and then since I couldn't find any blank paper, I have my report card that has a blank page on the back. So yeah, so let's just get started. We're going to take this potato and we're going to cut it in half. Yeah, so now we have two halves of a potato. Let's see if you put them together. If you put them together. Yeah, they work. Trust me. Now what we're gonna do is with this potato, let's just move this. We're gonna kinda cut into it a little bit. Ugh. And just kind of try and dig out this part right here so then I can make a stamper so now I've made some notches into this potato I think that's all I'm gonna do because I'm really bad at this and then so on this one we're just gonna create some circles, so let's just, I'm gonna make some outlines. So I don't know if you can see, but I kind of made little like circle-ish shapes. And now I'm just gonna try and cut out around them. So this one kind of turned into a hot mess. Maybe it'll still work, question mark. We will test it and we shall see. So next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to blot these potatoes off because they are very wet and I don't want that to like wreck my nail polish because I don't own paint. So now what I'm going to be doing is choosing some nail polish colors and I have a lot but I'm thinking more like Easter themed so I feel like this bright green and this bright pink would work really well. Um, Probably this orange as well, and maybe this blue as well as this purple. Um, so we're just gonna use these five colors and try and create some artwork. So now I'm just gonna take the potato and I'm just going to apply some of the nail polish on it. And now we're just going to take this and stamp it. Hey, not half bad! You can kind of see the lines from where the knife cut into the potato, but that's actually that's pretty cool. Let's do another one over here. Yeah, it's 
so that's actually, that, that's pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's cool. Yeah, so now we're just gonna test out the other one. Now this one's gonna be a hot mess for sure. Push it down, and yeah, no, that one just looks like blobs. <laughs> um, the other one definitely worked better. So, that was fun. I got nail polish on my hand and on the table, which if I don't clean off, my mom's gonna kill me. Um, overall, I don't think it was a success. Those ones kind of look like eggs, and I mean, you can like draw an outline. Ooh, let's draw an outline. Okay, I'll be right back. So I couldn't find a black marker, but I have a brown marker. So now I'm just gonna outline these and then I'll show it to you after. So I'm pretty sure I just ruined it. That's okay, it's meant for kids. It's a kid's craft. So now I'm just gonna circle the other one that I did. Yeah, this one also ruined it, but you know, whatever. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was a hot mess. Um, if you guys want to see me do more DIYs in the future, just let me know what you want to see. I hope you guys all have a happy Easter and eat all the chocolate and the gummies and I hope the Easter Bunny came for you. Um, make sure you subscribe because I try to put new videos out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Sunday, but sometimes that doesn't work. Um, make sure you follow me on my social media and I will see you guys next time. Bye!